everyone. Welcome back to Kidding Around Yoga with Miss Erica. Today's class is going to be all about bugs. So I have a fuzzy little caterpillar here um, and a ladybug. Got an invited grasshopper. And my dragonfly. I have a beetle here. And a bumblebee for bumblebee breaths. So I want everyone to find a comfortable position on your yoga mat. You can sit up in hero pose or you can sit crisscross yoga socks, which is what I am going to do. And as we prepare for our class today, we are going to start out with an ohm. So an ohm breath is when you inhale through your nose and you exhale through your mouth with your mouth closed. And it's almost like a humming or a buzzing sound when you create the words ohm. So it goes like this. Ohm. Just like that. So that is an ohm. So let's put on our yoga glasses and then break them apart and put our glasses on our laps. And let's do one big ohm together. Inhale. Ohm. I like to ohm because ohming always makes my body feel nice and relaxed. So if you will, let's practice our four finger meditation together. And it's okay if your fingers don't quite work the way my fingers work and you have a little trouble with it. Um, I just really want you to say the mantra today. So you can try peace begins with me. You touch your thumb, which is your peace spot to every finger just like this. Or you could just say the mantra, peace begins with me. So let's get ready to say it together three times. Ready? Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Begins with me. Now can you whisper it three times? I'll do it with you. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Great work on your meditation, friends. Excellent. All right, everybody. So we did our meditation. We did our ohms. Let's do a few breaths together to get us started before we do our first song. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more time. All right. Now we are ready for our first song, which is going to be the butterfly song because a butterfly is an insect. In fact, Mr. Caterpillar here starts its life out as a caterpillar and then becomes a butterfly. And I know it looks so different when it's a caterpillar. Um, it goes through metamorphosis, it curls itself up into a little ball, which we're gonna do in our butterfly song. And then it emerges as a beautiful butterfly. So go ahead and put your feet together in butterfly posture. All right, and you can hold on to your feet if you like. Just like that and flap. You can also flap like this. I'm going to do this one. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Alright, it's time for us to sleep like a butterfly. 
like we're in our chrysalis because we're still a caterpillar. Ready? Right, go back to your butterfly posture and stretch. And let's stretch to one side. And stretch to the other side. And stretch back up. And you can find your wings now if you want to, your uh, upper wings, and then you have your lower wings. Ready? Excellent work, friends, flying like a butterfly through the sky. So I said that um, we were doing yoga bugs or insects today, and I have a story for us. And the title of this story is Yoga Bug. And on the front, this little girl, she's in a garland pose or squat pose, but um, she's pretending to be a spider. And a spider is not an insect, it's an arachnid, but um, it's a creepy crawly just like all the other ones. We'll, we'll call it a bug today. So we're gonna read our book and then we are going to try to do some of the postures in the book. So we're gonna make insects with our bodies. So that should be fun. All right, hum, 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 buzzing bee. Maybe we can buzz together. Inhale, buzz. Creepy crawl across the floor. What is this insect called? I'll give you a hint. I have a friend with me today that's the same one. It's a caterpillar. Good. Lift and twirl up to the sky. Stick insect. I do not have a stick insect with me today. Shine and sparkle, twinkle toes. Lightning bug. Lightning bugs are really neat to look at at night. So maybe you can go outside with your parents one night and see if you can find some lightning bugs. Pitcher patcher, tiny feet, spin, spin a web. So we have a spider there. Flutter by, flutter, fly, fly away, butterfly. We were just butterflies. So I hope that you remember how to be a butterfly when it's time to do butterfly pose. Spread your wings and touch the ground. Dragonfly, and I have a dragonfly over here. There's my, my red dragonfly. Dragonflies come in lots of different colors. Strum and hum, twist and turn, grasshopper. I also have my green grasshopper with me today. Wiggle, giggle, jiggle, hands and feet. Flip beetle. Now I have a beetle with me. This is not a flip beetle, but it is a beetle. There's lots of different types of beetles. Yep. Snuggle and cuddle, close your eyes, little ladybug. And I have also a ladybug that has uh, black spots on it and a red shell, just like this ladybug. All right, are you ready to make yoga bugs with your body? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up, okay? All right, so we are going to start in B pose. So let's sit crisscross yoga socks on our mats and then just extend our arms out with our palms flat and take a big breath and buzz, buzz. Let's try to be caterpillars. So I want you to flip over to your tummy on your mat, 
Curl your toes under. Put your palms on your mat and lift your belly up off the ground. Make sure your head is pointing straight, the crown of your head, and you can be a caterpillar. Now, if you would like to crawl as a caterpillar, let's just push back into downward dog. And then push or lower ourselves back down into plank. And then back into downward dog. And then down into plank. And one more time. Down and up into downward dog. And then back down into plank. Okay. Now go ahead and lift your body up and come into mountain pose so we can be a stick insect. I want you to spread your feet wide like a triangle. Bring your arms out wide, palms facing forward like a star. And then we're just going to bend to one side into triangle posture. Come back up. Bend to the other side in triangle posture. Come back up into mountain. Um, you can try to be a lightning bug. Now, this is dancer pose, and the balance might be a little bit tricky, so if you need to hold on to like a wall like I have behind me and grab your foot and do it like this, you can. Or um, if you want to try to balance, you can just hold on to your foot and then extend your arm out like that. Okay. And hold on for as long as you can, and it's okay if you tumble over and fall down. Sometimes I lose my balance too. All right, let's try that on the other side. So I'm gonna grab my opposite foot. And I'm gonna extend my body. And then I'm going to let it go. Now we're going to go into spider pose or garland pose. It's like a squat. So make your feet wide and then bend your knees. And if you can, touch the floor with your hands or fingers. Take a big breath. Great, spiders. Our next pose is butterfly pose, and I bet you already know this one. Bring those feet together to form the lower wing, and then put your hands on your shoulders. Let's flap our butterfly wings a couple more times. Good, butterflies, I see you flitting out there. Now we are going to do dragonfly pose. We're gonna make a dragonfly with our bodies. So take your legs, spread them nice and wide, lift up to the sky, and then reach in front of you and really stretch your back. Take a big breath in. Excellent, dragonflies. We are going to move into flip beetle. So for flip beetle, I want you to just lay down on your mat, lift your legs in the air, lift your arms in the air, and just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Keep wiggling, get all those wiggles out, and freeze. Give yourself a big hug. And then the last pose that we're going to do is child's pose. So I'm going to turn on our garden of dreams before I get into child's pose. And you can rest the entire time in child's pose, or you can flip your body and you can rest in on your back in Savasana and do nothing dog pose. Okay. So let's, if you already know child's pose, go ahead and get into child's pose. Otherwise, I am going to do it with you. So I'm going to bring my big toes together. I'm going to lean my body back. Put my head down on my mat like this. And I can just stay like this if I want. rest in ladybug or child's pose. If you're ready, you can flip your body over and you can just rest like this on your mat. And just listen to the sound of the music. Relax your legs. Relax your arms. 
Allow your eyes to close and just breathe. And let's imagine that our mats are carrying us up to the clouds. We're flying on them today. We're flying to our garden of dreams where there's trees and birds, but most of all, there's lots and lots of yoga bugs. There are ladybugs, all different colors flying in the air, and butterflies too. They're flying all around us as our mat is floating through the sky. Now our mat is starting to gently drift down into the garden, past the trees below them, on the grass, right next to a pond, where I think I hear some frogs. I see dragonflies by the pond drinking water. grasshoppers hopping in the grass all around me. And up in a tree, I can even see a spider in its web. I think I hear the bees buzzing while they're making their honey. I'm just going to rest for a moment in the garden and just listen to all the magical sounds that the yoga bugs can make. it's time for us to say goodbye to our garden for now. So let's take one last look around. And as we look around, we know that we can return to our special place anytime we want to. Now our man is floating back up into the clouds beyond the trees, taking us back to our yoga space today. We're landing back in our rooms where we're practicing. And now let's just wiggle our toes, and wiggle our fingers, open your eyes, bring your body up to seated position, sit crisscross, Put your hands in your lap and let's get ready to do our closing breaths. So I have my bumblebee here. It's flying around. It hitched a ride back from the Garden of Dreams. And let's do some bumblebee breaths together. Inhale. Buzz. Let's do another one. Buzz. Let's do one more. Buzz. And then bring your hands together in Namaskar or wishing position. And you can say the closing wish with me, or you can just listen. May the whole world be filled with peace and joy, love and light, and lots of peaceful children, and lots of peace for everyone. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.